Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 25th, 2019. Let's get into it here, but before we do that, if you want a personal reading, you know where to go, angelsouls444.com. I have Gumroad courses, and thank you to everybody who is supporting me on Patreon. If you would like to support me on Patreon, all that information is down below. I also want to offer a challenge. I thought this might be a cool thing to do, because time is not linear. So I wanna put out the vintage video challenge where you go back and choose any one of my videos, any one of my readings and comment down below how it still affects your life or maybe it doesn't. But I think it'd be very interesting to see what video you were pulled to and see if there's a message there for you. So there's a whole body of work, almost a thousand videos to choose from. So have at it. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it here guys. So this is a really great auto write. It says, the tides are turning. It makes us wonder. Oh, I don't know what this means. <laughs> I was kind of really deep into this, so it may not make a whole lot of sense. It makes us wonder as we observe you, how you humans shall interpret our messages. Do you take them as frightening? For we would never ever. So they're saying, we don't tell you things to scare you. We tell you things so that you can be aware. and. Part of that too is when I sit down and I prep for the auto write, what I've heard from other people that might have really shocked me or like, whoa, wow, huh? You know, <laughs> I will kind of collect all that up and sit down. And when I'm doing the auto write, I reflect back to them. This is some of the feedback that I'm getting. You know, this is how, this is what I'm observing. Sometimes it's that um, just out in the world. And I'll see if they comment on it. And this was one of the times where they kind of directly addressed that, you know, and said, we're not here to scare you. <laughs> That's not what we're made for. And we'll continue on. You'll see what I mean. Uh, what you are seeing is truth and you needn't be frightened. Why would you be? What has conditioned you so? So I think they are kind of prompting us to stop and ask ourselves, what is scary about what I'm seeing in my life or what messages I'm getting or what I'm hearing in this video? What exactly scares you and why? Where is that coming from? Because it wouldn't be coming from them, right? So it's something is lost, something's lost in translation. Something is hitting that third dimensional ego consciousness and it's going into distortion. What is that? Don't overlook it, all right? Work that out for each and every one of you. Uh, need you, huh? I think it says, need you hang on so tightly. We are here for you. And yes, though you should ever be discerning, do not shut us from your heart, shut us out from your hearts. For we were born unto this frequency to care and to guide and to love. Shall we too be without purpose? You are our purpose. We are here in all love and grace by God's will. And so it is and shall be. Do not, do not shut out light because another shouts that it is too bright. For the light is your purpose as well and meant for all who will receive it. Let us leave you in love frequency and now we retreat until we are called. So there is this whole message here and they're reminding us that they were created to watch over us. I'm sure... You know, that's all we need to understand at this point in the game. <laughs> right? I'm sure angels have their own, um, you know, they definitely have their own realms. So I'm sure they have their own things that they're, you know, trying to grow from maybe or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being too human. But they're definitely saying, hey, you are our purpose. And so if you shut us out, where does that leave us? And just because someone might come forward and call you crazy for believing in angels or, you know, oh, you're one of those people. If they're dismissive, di diminishing, you know, any of those kinds of things, it doesn't mean that you have to turn away from what you know to be true within yourself. All right. We might all call angels something different. As I say to a lot of people, I have atheists who watch my videos. <laughs> when I say I have a wide and varied audience, I absolutely do. And one of the most interesting things I've ever heard them, uh, some of those people say is that they call it insight. They don't really, you know, they kind of dodge around the whole angel thing, but um, they find it very insightful. But the point is, no matter what you call this energy that comes through, the, that's coming through this message right now, whatever you want to call that, as long as you're getting something positive out of it, who 
cares what you call it? And yet here we are, we're in this world <laughs> where we will, <laughs> we will just fight over it's this, it's that. People want to contradict each other. People want to correct one another. They want to be critical. And they're saying, but why not just join us here in this light-filled space, in this space of love, right? Now, does that mean that we are never human? You know, you know me, I'm, I'm a very grounded angel medium. So there's this lovely message here that... You know, it sounds like this, I'm putting it in very human terms. I'm sure this isn't how angels are because they don't have egos. But um, if I were to interpret this, it's almost as if, you know, if we don't have you, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> right? um, we we want to share the love. We want you to take this in. We want to be there for you. Let us. Let's get on to the cards. All right, everyone. So let's see what's going on for the week of February 25th with some images which you know when it comes to oracle decks at least the way i approach it is just me okay um but <laughs> the reason why i still use these is just because it's a nice visual and i like seeing what crystals come up i like seeing what colors come up there's this whole like sort of a spiritual therapy not regular mental therapy but spiritual therapy that comes about so let's see what we have going on here All right, so, ooh, interesting. So Stip Night conflict. So this is interesting. We are conflicted in our beliefs. Um, there's probably gonna be some political conflict and things like that going on that might make us very conflicted in our inner world. Um, this is also, if you see how that crystal, and I tell this to people in personal readings as well, always pay attention to what direction that crystal is going. <laughs> it's going every which way, right? And so this might be some of us feeling like we're being pulled in too many different directions. Um, yeah, we have to find a way to streamline. All right. So that's not just about, it starts with surface level things. You know what I'm saying? Or news that's getting us all upset or what have you. But look, there's a common denominator. It's all, all those things are attached in this base here, right? So <laughs> I think the thing here is, is don't let external things that are pulling you in so many different directions, you know, get you away from your inner peace, I think is what we're getting at here. So that's kind of how the, the week starts out. And I almost feel specifically, I do daily readings now, so we'll see what comes up for the 28th, but um, kind of partnering the, those two together. So don't let that, I, I shouldn't have to coddle people. I mean, we're all adults here, except for the, well, hi kids, if you're watching. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you see a card like conflict, don't be like, ah, the sky is falling. I mean, it's not. It's okay. You can handle it. All right. You just might have to take a little extra minute to go. Okay. Remember the alignment. You know, the angels want to keep us in alignment. And even, even now, as this comes out, they're like, we're here to help you with this. So don't worry. Okay. Because <laughs> we are sent from God. Here's a master teacher card, divine temple source. So you, you know, again, it's starting out with this energy here, that, that conflict energy, but God has got your back. Now, people love to get crazy with this stuff and be like, I knew God had my back. I knew God was going to live for me. God's going <laughs> to, God's going to probably do nothing of the sort. Uh, remember angels cannot go against your free will. They are God's messengers and you're here to learn. You're here to emulate creator by creating your own little microcosm. So think of it like school. If somebody came in and just kept doing all your homework for you, are you better off for it now? Okay. <laughs> you have to go back and learn it all over again. So I think what this is saying is a lot of truths are being brought to the surface in your personal lives and just, you know, in the world. And so we're being asked to take a moment and, you know, tune into that piece, tune into the divinity. And you can even be like, God, what is up? <laughs> <laughs> I say that all the time. God, what is up? I don't know what is happening here. I don't know what you want from me. Help me out here. And watch how things become more and more apparent. Okay. Yeah. Kyanite blue letting go. Wow. Something, something kind of forces our hand this week where, where it's like, okay, I can keep struggling. I can keep hating on this or I can let it go. 
So how about I just let it go, right? And there's a sense of recovery that comes with this as well. So there's a relief, yes? So there could just be, for everybody it's different. I'm, I'm feeling all these different examples. But one of them might be like, let's say you have an argument with somebody, right? And you're like, ah, oh, you know what? Do you really care about this? No, I don't. I don't think it's worth fighting for. I think I think we can just, you know, have a better time if we are being peaceful with one another, right? Should we let it go? Let's let it go. So there is some resolution that comes about, but probably not without examining it first. So that can be one of these little, what do we want to, well, I'm blanking on what these are called. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I've, <laughs> one of the legs of the crystal, that's not what it is, but <laughs> one of the branches or whatever, that's one of them. And then there could be like, okay, the kids need to go to all the after school activities or I'm feeling lonely or I'm feeling, you know, there could be all these different emotions popping up all over the place and yet some surprising revelations that come along with it. And then I like, a, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I'm done with this kind of thing. So then we have pre-night trust. Trust the process. Trust that whatever goes out of your life this week needed to go out of your life. It's going to be okay. And that's, um, you know, a big message that keeps coming up too. The longer you hang on to what you think should be and the longer you hang on to an old way of approaching things, I know what I know, <laughs> right? You're going to find out eh, it's not like that at all. You know what I mean? And so trust the process. Trust what wants to leave, don't hang on with both hands, okay? It's a very God-driven week. I mean, I try to make my life God-driven every single moment, every single day, but um, sometimes we tune God out and then we're just, we can't figure out why we're banging our heads into the wall, <laughs> right? Why isn't it working? Because we're not listening, okay? But uh, it, this is almost like a week of soul work. That's what I feel like, you know what I mean? You're kind of you know, hammering away at something. Um, yeah, so you're not going to be like skipping down the road or anything. But <laughs> by the end of the week, I think there's this nice sense of having wrapped things up. This, this is a silly example. This makes me think of doing my taxes. <laughs> right? Like I've got a pile of receipts around me. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to put these together. But once I do, I'm going to feel so good about it, right? Oh, nice. Okay, so we have tangerine. Be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17. Give yourself a chance to have a break this week. You can't sit around waiting for things to be perfect, to be happy. You have to find peace, joy, gratitude, and whatever the heck is going on. Right? And if you feel like you need to hop away for a second and, you know, kind of rejuvenate or what have you, by all means, do that. Do that. So this is this orangey color, this tangerine color, the sacral chakra emotions, healing the emotions, letting something emotional go. Again, we gave the example of an argument. You're letting an argument uh, go away or you're really rethinking how you've approached things. This could also be a nice flow of money and uh, opening up to intimacy, okay? Just opening yourself up, being willing to be vulnerable with someone. And again, with these two cards, going back to this, if you're vulnerable and you just kind of level with somebody, be like, you know what? I'm not really interested in winning this argument. I, I don't even know how we got here. And, oh, I feel the same way. Oh, awesome. Let's let it go. <laughs> right? So that's just one possibility. But here's the most important card that we could have gotten, and that is uh, the source card. So remember this this week, guys. As always, don't approach your spirituality with any sort of pretentiousness or like I'm doing it better than anybody else. We're all just in it together doing our thing. Okay? So there's the message for this week. I did finally launch my merchandise line. Can you believe it? I've been talking about that for years. I finally did it. It's on Teespring. Link for that is down below if you're interested and we'll leave it there. I'm sending you guys so much love and take care.